Hi there everybody, this is Lydia with Also Posh Actions and in this video we're going to go over um, the difference between uh, resizing an image and cropping an image. So remember when I did that tutorial um, on my uh, blog about resizing for uh, Facebook? Well, resizing means just taking the picture as is and just making it smaller so it's easier to upload and uh, you actually don't change the proportions of the pictures. So let's talk about cropping right now. As a lot of times, we um, our clients want five by seven images, or eight by ten, or um, what's the next one? Eleven by fourteen. So um, the camera, when we um, get the picture out of the camera, the camera um, shoots in a two by three ratio. That's the same as four by six. Um, so basically, what that means is that. Um, the longest part of your pictures, so in this case our width, is one and a half longer than the shortest than the shortest one. So anything that is more than that or less than that, it will um, it, the picture will have to um, get trimmed. I mean, some of the part parts of the picture will get have to get trimmed. So the picture as is uh, right now, if we do um, again, this is the crop tool. I'm sorry. Um, you want to right click here, choose crop tool, you get this little square. So if we want to see how this picture will look in 4 by 6, all we have to do is put 6 inch, IN, you just stop there. If not, you can put pixels too, but you don't want to do that. That's if you want to need it, if you need it for special dimensions for pixels or anything. So let's just worry about 6 by 4 right now. So I put 6 inch and four height and then you can switch this if you want the width um, to be four so you can switch it switch in there really easily over there we don't have to worry about resolution at this time I just want to talk about cropping and how that affects um, the way the pictures pictures will uh, look in terms of proportions like a square or uh, more of a rectangle so four by six I'm sorry, six by four, because the width is six here. So if I take the, the crop tool, put it in the corner, and just drag it, as you can see, a six by four will print the entire picture. Um, so uh, let's say what happens if we put a five by seven. So the width would be seven, and this would be five. If we want to take it, take the crop tool and drag it, you see this part will not print that's because this if this side is five and let's take our calculators if that the shorter side is five you multiply by 1.5 you get 7.5 and we only have seven here so we wouldn't be able to print five by seven as is this will have to be cropped and it's not necessarily this that you want to crop but um, this is where you, as an artist, as a photographer, you can decide where to crop it. And if you want to, um, let's say, crop on this other side, all you have to do is take your mouse and put it here, get this little arrow, and just move it where you want it to crop. So let's say you want that to crop. Now, if you want to crop in a little bit closer and still have a 5x7 um, format, as we left the 5, um, here, let me show you. So we have five by seven, but you want it, let's say you don't want so much of the chair showing, just a little bit of her face. You do the same thing. You just take the crop tool. Let's say you want this and you want some of her hair in. So you want it about this much. So you will know that this is a five by seven and it will print as a five by seven and it's just a tighter crop. Um, now you have to make sure, and we'll talk later on, but you can't just take this and let's say that you can, you know, to do like a very, 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 let's say you want to do this and still do a five by seven. When you do that and you try to print it as a five, sorry, as a five by seven, it will just be pixelated and we'll talk about why that is. Um, so you can just take a picture and just crop it zoom it all the way in and expect it to be um, nice and sharp. 
um, that will involve more about the resolution and the pixel, um, the pixel, um, pixel per inch and dots per inch, PPI and DPI. So um, let's say that we want a 10, 10 by 8. So 10, and then we put 8 here. Again, we just take the crop tool, and let's just say the difference here. So if you remember, the 5 by 7 was here. 4 by 6 was the whole picture. So an 8 by 10, yes, it is a bigger picture overall, but the proportion of an 8 by 10 are not, so this side of the picture, or I'm sorry, this side of the picture is not one and a half bigger than this or longer than this side of the picture. So the picture will look more like a square. That's how I always explain to my clients. An 8 by 10 looks more like a square. If we look at it, that looks like a square. Before, it looks more like a rectangle. So you can't really fit a rectangle into a square. You have to crop some, you know, some of the edges of the picture. Um, the same goes for, let's say that you want an 8 by 10 portrait of this. You just, we just switch that and there's the portrait of an 8 by 10. Um, the crop tool you can usually, uh, you can also use it, let's say that um, you didn't get the picture and it, you got the picture but it's not straight when you look at it, that's, uh, it's crooked. Oops, here, sorry. Um, so let's say that we want to leave it as 4 by 6 as is. And put that. So if you want to straighten the picture a little bit, um, you can just select the picture. This is like this. You don't have a little bit of room if you don't want, if you don't want to do any cloning. And then you put put your mouse here, uh, and all you have to do is click and then just drag it a little bit up and down, depending on how you want to how how much you want to straighten it. Um, so that will just be a blank canvas over there, so you don't want that unless you want that to, um, you'll have to clone that part. Um, so let's say that we want it cropped this way, and then press enter. Yeah, it just cropped it. So I know that this is a four by six, and it just straightened it, just straightened the picture for me. So it, you can do the same with an, um, 8 by 10 or any size that you want. So that's an 8 by 10. So this is a portrait 8 by 10 and say that I wanted to um, to straighten it like this way. Kind of like that. There it is. So now um, if the client doesn't want any parts of the pictures if they want the picture as is and sometimes sometimes that might you know it just it, no matter what you try it just doesn't look right um, what you can suggest is that uh, print the pictures as, as an 8 by 12 for example so 8 by 12 oops sorry the other way 8 by 12 will leave everything in the picture the only thing with 8 by 12 is that it requires um, custom printing and the same goes for 11 by 14 so uh, 14 by 11 see it's more like a square 14 by 11 um, or 11 by 14 and if you don't want to do 11 by 14 the next size up would be 12 by 18 or 18 by 12 inches that will leave everything in the picture. That's a little bit about resizing. Uh, now one thing I want to make sure uh, you guys understand is like I uh, mentioned before you can't take a picture and let's say that you just want to zoom in and just crop just crop very very tightly let's say that you have just one of your subjects that you just want to crop over here so if you do that I mean your pic your picture it's not gonna look it's gonna be in a 12 by 18 
but when you print it, it's going to be pixelated because basically what you just did, you just, um, it's almost like the cameras, uh, those, the cameras when you film, those zoom, you know, they say, oh, zoom 300 or I don't know what. And every time you're like, oh yeah, I like to zoom. But what happens when you zoom in so close, you lose a lot of the resolution. And we're going to go about, uh, over resolution and all that. So that's a little bit about uh, cropping. Now you have, there are some fun tools that you can use cropping for, um, let's say, um, when I get, um, when I do um, pictures of, uh, like real estate pictures, you always have to be careful about distortion in your pictures. And when you use a very uh, wide lens, that's something um, you always have to be worried about the uh, distortion. So with the crop tool, uh, what you can do, um, let's say, if we don't put anything over here, we just have control of cutting it any way you want. You know, you can cut it very skinny, you can cut it any way you want. So let's say that um, I wanted to, well, this one is pretty straight, but let's say that I didn't like how this was, it was distorted for some reason. So I put my crop tool here, and then if you click on perspective, you can just take one corner and see how you can drag it and you can just create any perspective and kind of fix all those um, distortions. You see how it distorted my picture. Now again, I didn't need this picture too. I'm just showing you uh, what you can do with it. Um, mostly, this is mostly used for um, if you use a very wide lens, maybe for weddings if you do that. So you can just, let's say, um, you want the 5 by 7, 7 by 5, okay? Um, and you just don't like it because on the, if you use the wide lens, um, it just doesn't look good. Um, so you want it to, um, you got some distortion. So you just click perspective and then you take the corner that you want to fix and just, you know, align it. Let's say that we wanted to align with you know, let's say that this, I want it like that, and this, I don't know, I mean, it's going to, you know, make it awkward here, but I'm just showing you what you can do. See how that, like, really distorted my picture, but that's usually, if you have a picture that's distorted, you can use the crop tool this way, so make sure you don't forget, once you use the distort, the perspective, just uncheck that so you don't have to um, later on when you try to crop an image that you don't have to, um, you don't get uh, distorted images. So that's a little bit about how you crop your pictures. Um, well, I'm going to try to do another video about resizing and about your resolution and um, uh, PPI and DPI and all that. So. Um, basically, you want to start with a good with a uh, good resolution, a resolution. But usually, the resolution it, it's only um, we talk about resolution and how big the resolutions should be and all that only when you print. Uh, when we talk about a picture just on our screen, usually we talk about pixel PPI pixel per inch. Um, when we print, it's the DPI that we are interested in. So I'm going to do um, a picture, um, another video on how um, you can print a picture and let's say it's an 8x10 and you want to make sure that it will look sharp. But um, you want to start with a, with a big file to start with. You can't take, basically the idea is you can't take a small file, let's say, um, a smile that's less, uh, a, a smile, there you go, a file that's less than one megabyte and make it huge because Photoshop will create pixels, but they pretty much will create it out of thin air, but it will look just very pixelated and very blurry. So the idea is that if you have a good camera, you can put it on, um, when you take a picture to take the largest file possible and you um, on my D700 I can I shoot in RAW or if you shoot JPEG you can put your um, camera that it shoots in large 
for uh, large files, I believe. We're going to go over that. So that's a little bit about cropping and then about um, the the uh, resolution of the picture and the, the pixels. Um, I think that's about it right now and to upload the video faster I'll just stop here and then uh, follow up with the video on the pixels. Um, I hope this helped and I'm sorry it was just maybe talking too fast or so but if you have any questions just um, leave a comment under the video and I'll try to um, see how we can clarify everything. Thank you so much!